My name is Jeffrey Wilhite, and I am the University Library's art liaison. When you first enter the library, the first paintings that you're going to see are two large reproductions by a previous professor, Patricia Jimeno. Uh, one is the uh, Dante and Beatrice, and the other is the blind Milton dictating Paradise Lost to his daughters. In each of the great reading room stairwells, uh, we have paintings that are on loan from the Fred Jones Jr. Museum of Art. One of them is simply called Altarpiece, and it's by uh, Trevisani, and it's an enormous painting, and uh, it hangs in the east stairwell. In the west stairwell, which is behind me, uh, you'll see Saint Genevieve by Soubleras, and it is a French neoclassical piece. Once you enter the great reading room, besides just the grandeur of the room itself, you will also see there's a number of paintings of past presidents. But then we also have paintings by um, Everett Raymond Kinsler, and he did three of the paintings, including the portrait of President Boren. The clock tower entrance to the library, when you first walk into the building, you will see a large room that has, it's a computer lab now, and it has paintings along the walls. Once you enter into the main hall of the library, you will notice a, a nice proliferation of Native American paintings. Uh, we also have a loan of uh, Kiowa 5 Peshwa etchings from 1929 uh, from Western History Collection. As you get to the end of the main hall, you will notice two large glass cases with casino carvings in them. These are on loan from the Fred Jones Jr. Museum of Art, and they're from the Bilac Collection. And we've had them for about two years now, and they're uh, really a lovely addition to the library. When you go down to lower level one, which is the Collaborative Learning Center, uh, you'll also see three very impressive pieces. We have a Dan Kios, who is a, a professor here at the university, art professor. Uh, we also then have a Tony Abeda, a very large Tony Abeda piece, it's really quite lovely. And then we also have a piece by uh, Christopher Fleming, who is a student here, and it's an award-winning sculpture. Beyond just the decorous nature of all of the art, the idea is we also want to encourage the educational environment of the university. We have all the paintings labeled, titles, artists, and so forth. And so we make sure that we have this information so people can enjoy it aesthetically, but that also it can contribute to the education.